humans have been fascinated with dinosaurs for years. They have become a part of our culture and due to this are known globally. Scientists will tell you the KT event is responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs and other species. This global event took place some 65 million years ago. For many years, paleontologists believed this event was caused by climate and geological changes that interrupted the dinosaurs' food supply. However, in the 1980s, scientists discovered in the geological record a distinct layer of iridium, an element found in abundance only in space, that corresponds to the precise time the dinosaurs died. This suggests that a comet, asteroid or meteor impact event may have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. However, there are some people that don't believe this theory. For many years, claims were made by creationists that human footprints or giant man tracks occurred alongside fossilized dinosaur tracks in the limestone beds of the Paloxy River. This is near Glen Rosen, Texas. If true, such a finding would dramatically contradict the conventional geological timetable, which holds that humans did not appear on Earth until over 60 million years after the dinosaurs became extinct. However, the man track claims have not stood up to close scientific scrutiny, and in recent years have been abandoned even by most creationists. The supposed human tracks have involved a variety of phenomena, including metatarsal dinosaur tracks, erosional features and carvings. The largest number of supposed man tracks are forms of elongate metatarsal dinosaur tracks, made by bipedal dinosaurs that sometimes impressed their heels and soles as they walked. When the impressions of such tracks are subdued by mud black foes or secondary infilling, a somewhat human shape often results. Other alleged man tracks include purely erosional features, and these features can't be traced back to their origins, and a smaller number of calf tracks. A few individuals continue to promote the Paloxy man tracks, or alleged human tracks, but such claims are not considered credible by mainstream scientists. Creationists will argue that these impressions were left by humans, and state that mainstream science is trying to cover them up. While mainstream scientists say that when examined thoroughly and carefully, the tracks not only provide no positive evidence for young earth creationism, but are found to be among many other lines of geologic evidence, which indicate the earth has a long and complex history. The Taprum Temple in Cambodia was built during the 12th century, and the alleged Stegosaurus carving was mentioned in guidebooks published in 2006. Creationists are quick to assume the carving is indeed a Stegosaurus, and a replica is even present at the Creation Evidence Museum in Glenrose, Texas. Some have suggested the possibility the Stegosaurus may have been carved or altered by modern hoaxes. In support of this, some critics point out the lighter appearance of the image in question compared to the surrounding carvings. However, the lightness could be due to visitors cleaning it or making a mould. Some also suggest the edges of the lobes of the Stegosaur look a little more angular or sharp than nearby ones, and perhaps have been altered. But more study would be needed to completely rule out a hoax or mischievous alteration. Given that it's not enough to just assume that a carving of a creature with a plate on its back in an ancient temple isn't a dinosaur, what exactly is this animal in the first place? Some have suggested the so-called plates on its back could represent leaves, so it's believed the animal is most likely a boar or a rhinoceros with a leafy backdrop. Even with that assumption, it's still not 100% clear that the image in the temple is truly a boar, or a rhinoceros. So what do you guys make of these images? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.